This is the old Broadwater Asylum, built in 1921 to house the clinically insane. It would actually be in operation until 1973 when it was purchased by the Broadwater Brothers to be used as a hotel. So what happened with the hotel? Uh, the Broadwater Brothers actually went bankrupt in 1994 and the building went on the market again. Uh, it was actually purchased by the city of Stillwater and would work as a hospital until 2004 when it was permanently shut down. Why did it close? Uh, no one really knows. Um, everyone just kind of picked up and left. Uh, started in February 2004 and by May the same year there wasn't a patient or a worker left in the building. So are there any tours here? Uh, no, I'm actually the only one that works in the building, so there's only one tour you know, until you guys are done, and then I'll have another one. There are a lot of cars outside. Yeah, it must be something across the street. What's with all the stuff lying around? Towards the end of its time, the hospital needed more storage, so they used the basement just to really throw anything they needed to throw down here, and soon enough, the hospital just kind of became a storage unit. So it didn't? Uh, just the main floor, really, and some of the top floor. We did a lot of research on the building beforehand, and there were several reports of paranormal activity. Any of it true? Isn't that why you're all here? Let me go check that. What the hell was that? I thought he said he's the only one here. Maybe it was our... Ghost. Knock it off! Shouldn't we be a little concerned? I'll check it out. You two go try to find stuff. Be careful. Tell me if you find anything. Jeremy? Jeremy! I found what made the noise. I see that. Is everything okay? Everything's fine. I just need to put this back where it was. I think it was over here. Okay, sorry about that. Oh, is that him? Let's continue. There you guys are, sorry about that. Do you know any stories of suspicious deaths or anything violent that happened here? Ever since this place opened, it's had a long history of violence. Like what? Well, about a week or two after it opened, um, there was actually a prison riot, if you want to call it that. Uh, a lot of the inmates felt that they were mistreated. Yeah. Where did all this take place? It actually all started on the top floor. An inmate um, grabbed one of the nurses and choked her. Did the guards react? Yeah, they really they did all they could, but there wasn't much to be done. How many people died? You know, there's not a total number in the records. Uh, we do know the guy that started it, his name was Jonathan Roberts. Um, he was in here, he was clinically insane. He is said to have killed his family. I can actually, I'll take you upstairs and show you where it all began. So, room 320 is actually where this thing started. Not much anymore, it's just kind of a storage area. But, um, what happened was, he was, you guys can come in. He was in here, laying on his bed. The nurse came in to check on him, and he 
gradually started choking her, drug, him in, drug her excuse me, into the bathroom. Uh, he actually, he grabbed a hammer out of one of the utility closets sometime before and uh, he escaped into the hall. A lot of these doors are usually locked because of the patients and he actually broke a lot of the doors um, with the hammer and that's how it broke out. Let's go down this way, I'll show you some more of where the riot took place. So do you, uh, mind if we look around? Oh no, go right ahead. I'm going to call my associate, Charles. He might want to investigate this disturbance. I'll make the call. Hello? Here, Chuck, over here. Hey, what's going on? Here, listen. There's some strange activity going on in this place. The tour guide is a nut job, and we really need to get down to the bottom of this. All right. All right, well, who else is with you here? Well, I don't know where they are, but... Will should be around here somewhere. Alright, where is he? I'll have to see here. I think down this hall. Alright. This place is creepy. Yeah, it used to serve as an asylum. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Is he breathing? He's dead. You go find Megan, I'll find Jeremy. Alright. Jeremy, where the hell are you? Tour. No, he wasn't. He just got here just recently. You didn't tell me? No. You in here? No. Check down there. Oh, shit! Come here! Okay, um, you go look for Megan, and we don't have service in the building, but I'll go downstairs and I'll get outside and I'll call for security. Okay, sounds like a Megan! What's up? 